Monster! A monster in our village! I hear screaming. It's gotta be here. You lot came back! We honestly... Ha! <laughs> Looks like the little lady made it out, eh? Of course! But more importantly... Right. We've got a human on the hunt. Del's helping the villagers get to higher ground. Truly? I'd not have expected it of him. That's Fidelio through and through, isn't it? I am Euphasia, the priestess. Thank you for helping with the evacuation. Here on we shall... Oh, priestess! It's the priestess! Lady Yufa, please save us. Um, what don't you lot get about evacuate? You want to live, do as you're told. Priestess, what happened to the ritual? What of the dragon god's wrath? Did you even perform the rite? Oh, this is a disaster. How can we survive now? The dragon god Et is here as our guardian deity. Don't worry, you'll get your ritual. The real one, that is. The ritual that's been buried for hundreds of years. As the priestess, on my life, I will drive back this calamity. Hold on now. You're not actually gonna fight, are you? Basilio, where's the monster? So be it. We can do this! I put the truth to our teachings and rituals. I thought we already finished this guy. Watch me. This is a stubborn one. Raging fire. Let's get her. No. Lend me your strength. I'm counting on you. With blade in hand. I need your help. I am grateful. Thank you. Is true from any vantage. 
We'll do this together. Take my it didn't work. Nullified? Do my best. After you. Don't. Now for a grand maneuver. I leave it to you. Great job, Juna. My aim is to come now forth, royal soul. Huh? Come forth, royal soul. Come. Oh, it's huh? ineffective. It didn't affect them. My strength. <laughs> This is just what I need! No way! It didn't affect them! Let's stay calm. I'm counting on you. Allies, together! This is just what I need! Nullified? Well played! Odd, Hulkenberg! Like poetry in motion! Please, go right ahead! Come on, help me out! I'm counting Great on you! Great job, Juna! My aim at the next now one's yours. Weak to something new. General! Give it all you thought! This is for the future of the Mastari! Fall! Not bad. I'll strive for greater heights. the end of that everyone once again thank you so much what a spectacle to think i could have evacuated and missed the performance yufa that power it must be the same power wielded by priestesses of old my rescuers helped me realize that You mean to say sacrifice was never the intent of the ritual? The priestess offers her life in service, not sacrifice. She takes up arms and faces the scourge. That is why our relic is a lance. A mural on the altar suggested as much. It's likely the murals of this village don't actually depict sacrifice either. You saw what was inside the temple? What was it? Something the church would rather keep buried? Some other mystical relic? A relic? Hardly. We saw a ruined city of the old world. Evidence of a history before our own. Small wonder the clergy can't send their monks. Anyone who saw that would have their faith shaken. It's all but physical proof that the Sanctus scriptures are fiction. You don't say. However, we of the islands have done no better in upholding the truth of our past. With all my heart, I wanted to save our village. All I did was sit and hope. Lady Yufa. I clung to my determination with such fervor. Perhaps without my noticing, it became a desire for atonement. The day you left, Adeni, even the night father and mother left this world, I could do naught but sit and wait and hope. I believed it was my role as priestess. If I had done anything at all to change it, perhaps... We would not have faced such horrors. You can do your changing now. After all, you're still alive, you've got years ahead of you, and you've got friends and family close. You needn't bear this alone. We support you. Without the right of sacrifice. Was, was that also depicted in the temple? I, I, is that really the truth of the teachings? Is that so difficult to understand? What matters the murals or the truth of the teachings? Do you believe the priestess fought out of tradition alone? She fought because she wanted to protect us, this village. She fought for you and I, our lives and joys. 
Is that not enough reason to support her? You made good on your promise to save my sister. Words cannot express my thanks. But there is something that must finally be said. Yufa, I'm glad you chose life. I think I understand now. It's not slaying monsters that gets rid of the melancholia. I think it goes away when we help people overcome their fear and anxiety. I have to say, for the moment there, it looked like we'd have more dead than alive. But now they've got the Lance, Priestess, and the whole sodden village in their corner. <laughs> it's only relevant as far as it matters for Luis's sake, Baz. Remember, we're doing this for a world where your blood don't matter, long as you can fend for yourself. Suppose, but what about them that can't fend for themselves? Like them village folk you helped save? Reminds me of that Glodel business, too. They're tough enough that they don't need dirty tricks. If he challenged them, and they won fair and square... Pack it in, Basilio. Our war may be quieter, but we're still fighting. Hesitate out there, and you're dead. Del! So, that's the lance everyone's after. I wanted to discuss that. Unfortunately, I can... But to that end, what if I were to accompany you? The monster is gone. The magla-made distortion is visibly fading from our lands. The threat looming over the island has passed. That said, if I am to be a warrior priestess, then I feel I must learn what the world is like beyond our borders. Besides, if you were to hold the lance, you would lose your powers of magic, which would be inconvenient. Wait, we lose our magic powers? Well, a flow of some protective magla surrounds you. Yet, when the lance nears you, it seems to dispel that magic. I can only assume it's one of Dracodios's powers. What? Hold on. Protective Magla? You don't think she's talking about the King's magic? What's come over you, Strode? You seem distraught. Look, can I talk to you for a second? There's something I want to test with Dracodios. Did you all see that? This changes everything. I'll say. I was wondering how a whole dragon's worth of magla fit in such an ordinary-looking lance. Now I finally understand. Ah, your pardon, but might someone clarify? He blocked it well enough, but the blow still landed. Our candidate was struck. There's no doubt about it. This lance has the power to nullify the protection of the king's magic. That means, as long as you have this lance, any candidate can be killed. And if Luis knows that, it explains a lot. Then I am well glad the brothers are not present to hear it. What a secret to have stumbled upon. Maybe this is our chance. We can do what Grius couldn't, and this time he wouldn't see us coming. We're not the fledglings we were then. This time, we could do it right. You would use it to take a life. Yikes. We've been blabbing in front of Yufa. Doesn't matter. We'll need it kept quiet that we know the Lance's secret. And we can't ask that of her without giving a proper explanation. I was the one who came asking to be included. No matter how heavy or grim your burdens, I would shoulder them alongside you. Sheesh. Not much we can say when she puts it like that. But how would such an assassination be enacted? Those brothers will make damn sure we turn the lance over. A stealth mission's out. Last time there were hardly any guards about and we still barely managed to survive. I'd rather not push our luck. 
We need some way to keep the lance and use it to strike the least down. Well, Captain? Any ideas? How about... There's a thought. After all, the lance has been shut up in a temple for ages. Not even Luis would know what the real one looks like. Is an easy thing to say. But are we even capable of making such a replica? If you just need a visual double whipped up, that's certainly within my repertoire, what? Oh, good. We've got a certified craftsman on board. Have at it, then. Give us a lance to turn heads. Yufa, knowing what we want to do with the lance. I did not falter in choosing my fate as a sacrifice, and I will not falter in this. Please, tell me everything. Well, settle in. It's a long story. So the Prince is alive. I know his hinds can guide us to a brighter future. Laugh at my hopes if you wish, yet... I do not know or love this Prince as you do. But I can tell, by your faith, he is not one to cast others aside. For now, we need to figure out when and where to ambush Luis. Treasonous bastard who cursed him. Well, if we're going to trick him with a fake, there's only one answer. Saint's Day. The city will be chock full of relics by then. Perfect for a bit of cover. Tis the same day Luis plans to attack Forden. No doubt he has the same advantages in mind. The relics will be presented at Altabri's Grand Opera House, yes? Well then, you could try it while I'm singing. Long as I'm on stage, I can keep everyone's eyes on me. I suppose it is time I face my destiny as well. In the name of protecting my people, I've no doubt my understanding of life itself will be tested. All I can do is hope for your support in my journey. Time to go! Not just the Lance. But now we've got Yufa herself. Things are looking up. Maybe you just draw people to you, like the prince did. Strange to think of an understanding of life, though. I get it. It's just not something I thought about until recently. You think a fairy could find any meaning in that? Never too late to find out. Yeah. I hope I'll find my own answer someday. With you on our side, I know we'll figure it out. I will go tell my brother of my departure. Then we shall rest at the inn. To solve. What blah blah cramped spaces are the foundation of camaraderie, I say. Well, to each their own. Now then. No. True. Something wrong, love? It's late. My brother had already retired for the day, so I thought I'd wait for tomorrow to tell him. But now that I find myself alone with my thoughts, I'm quite nervous. Think you'll be able to tell him yourself? If I cannot even do that, there would be little point in leaving the island. He will understand. After all, he left long before I did. What is that book? Oh, it's a fantasy novel. He's never without it. A fantasy? But what is it a fantasy of? It's a story... 
about a world very different from ours. Interesting. Then it is to you as the mainland is to me. It is a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists. Much like the world His Highness once dreamt of. In truth, it is difficult to envisage. All I have known is our own island's history and doctrine and naught beyond it. So, well, would it be all right if I read some? Remarkable. Despite all the people share in common, the world is filled with myriad faiths and beliefs. Accordingly, those in search of spiritual meaning may seek and find many different teachings to guide them. I see. So the people of this world are free to believe as they will. Anyone may follow any god, any dogma. So basically the opposite of the Sanctus Church. Our legends say that the ancient world was full of all manner of beliefs too. The people of Eld worshipped many gods from many pantheons. People confronted the anxiety that haunted them. Thinking back, some of those figures in the temple murals may have been gods. Yes. That mural depicting myriad gods is an explanation of how this world came to be. But ultimately, war claimed everything. <sighs> Suppose that means it wasn't much of a utopia, right? Perhaps freedom unchecked gave rise to conflict. Either way, to know the past is to ensure history does not repeat. If we are to create a utopia rooted in our world, faith is not enough. We must move onward and take action as allies, because I believe that's how this must be used. This power that guides us to ideals. To walk forward, firmly, fearing nothing. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Look at this. Your pardon? Yufa, and the mainlanders. What is it? Brother, I must speak with you. Until now, I have understood nothing. But it is not merely the teachings I failed to grasp. I did not understand the mother and father's wishes, nor indeed their own. As the priestess, I am duty-bound to protect our village. And I would do so not with a weapon, but with understanding. Brother, please permit me to travel alongside these people. Your own journey. I never thought I'd see the day you'd ask to leave. We can look after her. My own journey's end freed me from our customs. Perhaps, had I sought comrades and friends of my own to walk with, I would have found purpose. So be it. Go and see this world with your own eyes. As a parting gift, Yufa, I entrust this to you. What is it? Mother's Kakara. With this staff in hand, she would travel the lands beyond our shore, seeking to spread our teachings. I did not know she'd left anything behind. I gladly accept. I must ask, Yufa, what do you plan to call yourself, once off the island? What do you mean? I am the priestess of Virga Island. Should I be called anything else? Indeed. To outsiders, we are only the Islanders. We have hardly named the land, much less our humble village. We once saw no need for a name. We had rejected the world outside for so long, we knew but two lands. Those within our borders, and those without. Now that the truth of our traditions has been restored, we may celebrate them. And in that spirit, I would like to name our village. Our home will have a name. By your efforts, there is no longer any doubt. The Dragon God Et is our village's guardian deity. Thus, it seems only right to call it the home of the Dragon God Et. 
Etria. One day, after years untold, I hope Etria will be a bustling town. People from far and wide will meet here. It will be worthy of its name. At least, that is my fantasy. I think I've found a world I want to be a part of. To that end, everyone, I look forward to our journeys together. So, you're off to Alteberry. You'll have to watch for the tide, but you should arrive with plenty of time. If you have time yet to relax, our island home is humble, but I hope it is to your liking. Well then. Just like me. All right then. Um, well. I'm quite grateful. Wow. It's nothing like it for you. Incredible. Oh wait, do people in Grand Trat have big families? Uh I don't think so. If it's called San Lunio Street, then all its residents are of the San Lunio, are they not? On the island, places are named after the people who live there, so... Oh, maybe th that's not how it works there? I'm sorry, I must come across so strangely. Yufa? Brother, I'm learning about the outside world from him. If I remain naive about it, I will only be a burden. Does living beyond our borders make you anxious, Yufa? A little. But I shouldn't be, no? This was my own decision. It's natural to feel anxious about new things. Precisely, yes. The first time I left the island, I was so nervous my knees shook. Really? Is that true, brother? No one steps out into the unknown without some trepidation in their heart. That said, people only fear what they don't know because they don't fully understand themselves. I believe this is your time, sister. You've heard of the trials of Malnavar, have you not? It is an island where a peculiar monster lives, raised in stagnant magla. The monster reflects the anxiety of those who challenge it. And it provides those who overcome it with proof of their victory. I am one such victor, and I gained a great deal from it. I think you could stand to benefit as well, Yufa. You would count your new friends as reliable warriors, correct? Perhaps you might tempt them with the discarded treasures and armaments of our ancestors there. It will challenge you, to be sure, but you'll walk away better for it. Before you leave, Consider testing your strength. But... What if it proves too challenging? We'll do it together, Yufa. The weather on the island is unpredictable at best. We won't know how dangerous it will be. I would never send my precious sister off without regard for her safety. I have some idea of how to handle the weather. Won't you put your faith in your new friend and me? Your focus must be solely on the trial. I understand. If this proof you speak of will give me the power to step boldly into my future, then I will want for nothing else. That's the spirit. If you do decide to go, pay me a visit before heading out. I would see you all off safely. This one's important. Yes, that's the place. You will face danger here. Let's... More rather mysterious, isn't it?
A trial awaits. Hey, uh, hasn't that island been abandoned for quite some time? I hope the magla isn't too strong. All right, then. There right away. What's the plan? Now then. Should be enchanting. We might fill a request. I should very much like to go there. Yeah, but... It's your call. Here's where we... We'll face danger here. We could rest there, I think. Oh, I don't like that. It's a campground. Oh, I don't like that. We might fill a... I should very much like... Yeah, but... It's your call. Late. What now? All right, then. Right. Time for the old girl to shine. Now that. That's where you it's your call. Let's move. Uh. Oh. What say you? Well, thank you. Let's see. And right there's a labyrinth. And right there's a li It's your call. This place. This place. Pop by again, won't you? All right, then. All right, then. Let's go. I should very much like... Yeah, but... It's your call. Great. Let's...
this. Understood. As the sunset stretches the gauntlet runner's shadow across the water, they arrive at the prismatic sea. Sailors whisper of an otherworldly view visible in these parts, if you survive the terrors of the deep. Yet somehow, the sailors have never found an unimpeachable source, and the party was about to understand why. The Gauntlet Runner arrives at an encampment, and sensing no imminent threats, they breathe a collective sigh of relief. Yet the day draws to an end, and all are left to wonder how to spend the evening hours. All right, then. What now? Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. What to pick? What do you want to do? Well then.
land of ceremony rises over the water's horizon. The sun blazes down on the island year round, giving way to scorching heat. Coming here eventually came to have ceremonial significance, as monsters who could survive these conditions boast extraordinary strength. Not even thieves dare to come near this mausoleum. The party rouses Now then. All right! Huh? Hail! Leave it to us. I am no stranger to japes. Mark me closely. Now, where was I? <laughs> okay, then. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> 
We're done. That was ah. all of them. This is really sick. Now that's what I call treasure. What now? What a fortunate find. <laughs> Where's Cut. Martin? Hey! All right. Oh, oh, oh. That. <laughs> this is no time to... What now? Cut. That was well done. <laughs> Of use later. 
All right, Dad. How's that? Hey, good one. Hey. I shall rise to the occasion. Where's Pocket? Blades of the Red. We can't get sloppy. Two arms. Assassin. Not more fun to be on Watch me. It's through! It's still up? All right, here I go! Not this tactic. Summoner! Heed me! Two you more remain! One. We're counting That's on you, That's how you do it! Trivial! Uh. Only two enemies left! Now one. accept Take your time. fate! I'm not going to your man, your turn. We're looking good here. This is the go right out. Now I'll be taking that. Why, hello there, treasure. This'll be a fast, fast Behold this power. Be sure don't give up easy. You dodge, Juna. On target. Last one. one for the captain. I am in Let's keep it going. We shall sweep them! I thought that would be my goodness! And that's that! Victory's ours! Good. Tis done. Ha! Huh? I have never known such heights. <laughs> hey! Ah, take this! Ah, ah, hope this hit! Are you having trouble? Ah, ah. <sighs> Good job, everyone. <laughs> Please, mind your health. We can't... Hey! 
Bacon <sighs> found something. Let's take it with us. <sighs> Come on! I'm right here. Hey, let's push oh, through. This'll do it. <laughs> All right. This How's that? Let's push hey, through. Come on. All right. This'll do it. Right. Let's push <laughs> through. Let's take it. All right. Come on. How's that? It. Hey. Cat. Well, that's one more thing we don't have to worry about. All right. This'll do it. Come and get me. Let's push through. Keep the pressure on. Hope this hits! Cut! Cut! Hey! Take this! Come on! We destroyed the crystal! Ah! <sighs> 